Hi, welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Sunday special is chippy and chorizo soup. The ingredients you need are two onion, two garlic cloves, one chorizo ring, two tins of chippies, one pinch of mixed herbs, pinch of paprika, Worcestershire sauce, one chicken stock cube and ground black pepper. First thing to do is to prep all your ingredients and going to start off with the onion. First step to do is to chop your onion ends off with your sharp knife. Chop your end. I like to flatten it so it's easy to chop. Then chop the other ends off. And peel your onions. Take off the two layers. Peel your other onion. Next step after when you have peeled your onions, you finally slice them halfway and you turn them around and you finally dice them into little pieces. Always move your fingers out of the way so you don't chop your fingers. And you want pieces like that. You do the same with your other onion. You first finely slice it halfway down so it stays intact. Then you turn it around and you finally do small pieces like that. And then you place them in your bowl and you do your other onion. Next step is to prep your garlic. I have got a garlic bulb. You will need two pieces of garlic. You take it off your garlic bulb. Just like that. You first chop both your ends off your garlic and then you peel it so you've got all the skin off just like that next step after when you have peeled and chopped your ends off your garlic you place your knife on top of your garlic and you press down and you want to finally finally dice it into little pieces like that next step is to prep your chorizo first you chop it In half then you take off then you take off your ring your stalk then you chop it in half half again with your sharp knife be careful with your fingers and 
now you just want to make medium slices. Just like that. So what I'm doing is putting the knife on top of the tress so I'm finally slicing it. Just like that. Always move hung your fingers out of the way so you don't cut yourself. Then you do your other half. If you first chop it in half. And you finally slice it again. This might look like a lot of chorizo, but once it's cooked, you blitz it down so you will have a nice chorizo and chippy soup. Next step is to open your chippies and drain them with your sieve. And you do the same with the other tin. And you just want to give it a little shake so you get all the water off them. Next step, after when you have boiled your kettle, you place some boiling water in a measuring jug and you add one chicken stock cube, just like that, into your water and you give it a good stir with your fork so it all fatherates give it a good stir for a few minutes next step is to switch on your hob so you can start cooking I am now switching on Switching on my hob ring to high. Just let that warm up for a few minutes before you start frying your chorizo. After when your pan has started to heat up, you add in your chorizo and you give them a fry for a few minutes. Chorizo brings out a lot of oil. So you just need a dry pan and it'll bring out all the flavour. You want to make it nice and crispy. And you just want to fry them for a few minutes. How they get nice and brown, and you can smell the oil from the chorizo pouring out. To your pan, let them fry for a few minutes in in with your chorizo, so you can start smelling the onions and garlic. You want to get all the way round the pan.
you want to give them a little top in all the flavours in a few minutes. Give them a nice coating with your onions, garlic and crystal and also that oil. It will bring some flavour to them chickpeas. But don't forget you don't have to make this soup. If you're a vegetarian, you could just make a vegetarian soup. The reason why I wanted to make this soup because when I used to be in Henshaw's College, we used to do something called Sandwich Enterprise and we used to make different soups and this was one of my favourite soups to make when I was up there. Next step is to add your chicken stock to your pan. And you want to give that a little bit of a stir. Next step is to add some seasoning. You start off adding some black pepper your pan now you've added your black pepper you add a pinch of paprika into your pan and also you had a pinch of mixed herbs You want to give that a good stir before you simmer it. So the chickpeas can cook when you put the lid on. And you want to get all around the pan. Step before you let it to simmer is to add a Splash of Worcester to the sauce. And you want to give that a good stir. You place your lid on top of your pan and you lower your heat to medium and you let that simmer for 10 to 15 minutes and keep an eye on it after when you have took it off the heat you you blitz it with your hand blitzer you you Thanks for watching, hit the like button if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming soon.